Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're going to do more of a series of these cat and mouse videos as us being the cat to give you folks an idea of what's it like on the other side of that radar detector that is in the patrol vehicle trying to get you and your speed. So what we've done is I've created a, went out and did a lot of different types of uh, setups on traps that, you know, as a driver we all see. And uh, it's going to be really interesting uh, what, you, what we find here. You're going to get the whole picture as to what's going on on the radar detector side, but now you're going to see what it's like on the other side of the radar gun or laser gun. And then you're going to get a better picture overall of what's actually going in these different scenarios. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate that. We'll have more of this unique content out there. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else on the internet. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Radar Busters Online. Uh, Twitter as well, Radar Busters. And we'd love to engage with you if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any additional tests. Uh, we'd be happy to do them. We're already fielding some questions. One was on Facebook for... Uh, uh, how laser works through the windshield doesn't really affect the range. So we have one of those results as well, a uh, series of videos. So you'll be able to see for yourself. So uh, let's get to it. Let's have some fun. doing some uh, instant on why we are traveling and patrolling here called a moving radar. Right now I'm on RF hold. I am not transmitting so no detector can pick this up because I am not transmitting. So we'll nail this car out in front with IO. Okay, he's doing 59. Turn it off. We got his speed. Our patrol speed is indicated there on the bottom, on the right there, 57. Target this vehicle, 67. Turn it off. Sixty-nine. So we're running IO here. This truck, 55, he's a good boy. Coming out of, I think, a 40 speed zone, so coming up to a uh, lower posted speed limit. See what this person's doing in there. There we go, 59 and a 55, so. Doing okay. So here you go. You can see how quickly radar can acquire your speed, even in a patrol or moving mode. Uh, less than a third of a second. Very quick. Even if uh, they go from uh, a brief shot or turning on radar and then leaving it in constant mode, you need a quick reacting detector as quickly as possible. And we, in our recent test, as you may have already seen, the Unidins do, all of them do exceptionally well at uh, reacting to particularly K-band, as you can see uh, in that test. And that's essential uh, for encounters like these, right? Uh, unfortunately, the current firmware on the Escorts, quite a bit slower, and even the new Valentine 1 V1 G2, not as uh, quick. Uh, and the Whistler 2 did very well uh, similar to the unit in so uh, close second and that's the purpose of having a quick reacting detector and why we prioritize that over even sensitivity because you really need to be able to detect the most lethal forms of radar if you look at these uh, encounters too you'll also notice uh, a pretty significant range reduction relative to the stationary tests that we conducted with the custom Raptor RP1 with the K-band antenna. Uh, when we were doing stationary with the vehicles approaching us, we were getting vehicles 
targeting as far as uh, 4,000 feet uh, for a white pickup truck to 2,700 feet uh, for a, like a gray or darker SUV that has more of a sloped hood and uh, versus the what we calculated with combined closure, about seven seconds of combined closure in the patrol mode uh, that suggested a 1,200 foot uh, uh, distance before a speed could be uh, captured from the two vehicles. So that tells you something. That's a 55 to 70 percent reduction in uh, detection range for the radar gun. Uh, and that's good news potentially for a radar detector user. If uh, the patrol vehicle turns on his radar and you're beyond that 1,200 feet, you know, maybe he jumps on it, misinterprets the distance. You know, obviously when you get closer than one we did, I think it was about 400 feet we figured, give or take. And that was practically instant, 300 milliseconds, a third of a second or less. But when we jumped on a little early, you could see the vehicle speeds weren't detected until around that 1,200 foot separation range. And I think if you ever saw the video of us with that Whistler CR-97, when we were in a remote uh, part of uh, New Mexico, or was it uh, Arizona? I'm not exactly sure which one of these uh, southwestern states. And uh, we were able to outbreak, and we were doing about 109, if I'm not mistaken, at the time. And I think that was because the officer turned on his radar, basically just put on constant on, know, knowing that we were going to come into range. He wasn't trying to pop us with I.O. and then get us. Uh, he just turned it on, see if he could get our range. We were able to slow down. I suspect he was able to get our range and then turned it off when we saw our speed. So a circumstance where uh, you can outbreak, uh, outbreak uh, police radar. Uh, there's another aspect here that it, it should be uh, uh, discussed briefly, which is radar, you have to think of it. Radar is light. It's electromagnetic radiation. Uh, just like a laser, different uh, wavelength of the uh, you know light spectrum, but they behave similarly. And you'll notice that the radar cross section of the white pickup truck was uh, you know higher than the uh, the SUV in this in this uh, this past test we did from the stationary mode. And what does that tell you? What that tells you is that the range, detection range of the speed for a radar varies based on the type of vehicle you're driving with. So uh, even color can potentially play a role in the kind of radar, the, uh, radar that's reflected. So keep that in mind. If you have a pointy car, uh, like a sports car, especially a darker sports car, you, uh, they may need to be closer to you to get your range in either case, whether it's a stationary or or moving. So once again, a radar detector can serve your your interest in that uh, in that situation. So I uh, hope you enjoyed these uh, video uh, encounters that we did today, and uh, we'll have more coming your way. So thanks for watching. Take care.